In this video, we're going to learn how to draw a very simple three-dimensional lipid bilayer. So we're going to first draw a wavy line. So I click on the pencil tool. I'm going to press enter, and I want this the, the fidelity to be relatively smooth. So I'm going to draw the wavy line. Okay. I'm going to change this color to a brown. Now I'm going to click on this object. I'm going to hold the Alt key. And I'm going to drag it down. That's going to, going to copy that so I have the same, so I have two parallel wavy lines. And then now I'm going to create the fill between these two lines. So I copied the lines again. And now I'm going to join the edges so that it's an enclosed shape. Oh, made a mistake there. There we go. So now it's an enclosed shape. And I'm going to remove the border and add a lighter hue to it. Drag it down so that it is aligned with the previous objects. Right click, go down to arrange and click send to back. Now I want to change the colors here. I want the inside to be a little lighter because when you make things 3D for some reason it darkens it. So I'm going to go over to the color guide and uh, let me go down here to the fill. I want to remove the border. I need to switch to fill then go up to color guide and change it to a lighter color. And now I want to click on the 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 lines. I want to change those lines. And now I need to go back to the swatch and then switch to the border. Click up to swatches and I want to lighten that up just a little bit. Okay. So now I want to group these objects by holding control and pressing G. And then now I want to do a 3D bevel feature to it. I want to add that to it. So I'm going to go up to effect. 3D and extrude and bevel. So it's going to change the three dimensional orientation of this object. And I want to extend that. So I'm going to click on the extrude depth and increase this. Okay. And now I want to add more steps to the, the shading. So I go down here to blend steps. And I want to click that arrow and move this to make it more smooth. That looks good to me. Say OK. So let me explain a little bit about what this actually is. This is a two-dimensional object with a three-dimensional appearance property added to the object. So if I go over here to appearance, and if you don't see it over here, if you don't see this, um, this appearance icon, you have to go up to window and go down to and click on appearance. You'll see that there is a 3D extrude and bevel feature added to this object. Now if I remove the visibility, I get the original two-dimensional object. And so I can now add that visibility back. So this would be a useful way to modify that original object so you can change the appearance of the that 3D object. So so that is a useful feature to, to use. So now we have a three-dimensional membrane, and that was it took very few steps to create it. Now we can add some features to this membrane, like maybe an ion channel. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to click on the, um, the rectangle, the rounded rectangle. Make a rectangle, and that maybe I'll do green border with a light green interior. Okay, So now I'm going to click on this object, go up to Effect, down to 3D. And this time I'm going to click Revolve. So now we have a channel. And you can actually slice this channel by changing this value to 180. Click away. So now you have sliced this channel. and we can, I want to add a little bit of space here. So that, that can be done by adding an offset. 
It's a little big. Let's change this down to 15. See what that looks like. That looks pretty good. And we're going to say OK. And so now we've added an ion channel to this lipid bilayer. And you, you can do all sorts of things. I mean, you can add a you know some ions. And in this case, if you wanted to add ions, I recommend having no border. Let's make this, I don't know, maybe a gray or black. Let's do black. And then go over to gradient. Say radial gradient. And then click on radial gradient. But we added it to the border. We don't want to do that. So let's uh, uh, change that to actually black. Actually, we're going to remove that border. We're going to click on the fill portion and then add a gradient to that. And let's click away. And so now we have some ions. And you can actually add this as a symbol. Uh, won't let me do that. So first we need to rasterize it. So we're going to say object rasterize. We're going to make sure it says transparent over here and say OK. So now we're going to drag that and add it as a symbol. Go click down and click graphic. So, so the export type, make sure it says graphic. You want to keep it as a dynamic symbol. So say OK. And let's spray the tool. And now we have some, some ions on the outside. And so that is how you can very quickly and easily draw a three-dimensional membrane for figures or publications or presentations. And it didn't take too many steps.